Excuse me! Eh, begging your pardon. I have the unfortunate habit of calling people Susan. My sister's name. Hmm, most intriguing. <laughs> now. <laughs> Reginald! Yes, sir! Come and have a look at this. They're bullet wounds, sir. Yes, but what kind of bullet wounds? I'm not quite sure, sir. They are entry wounds. Oh. That oh. means since they're on the back of his head, this could not possibly have been suicide. Brilliant deduction, sir. You are truly well, worthy of being Mr. Moorcock's assistant. Well, <laughs> sir, silence. Mr. Moorcock. Also silence. <laughs> <laughs> This man is dead. <laughs> Sir, we've already blood. That can only mean one thing. And what is that one thing, Mr. Moorcock? Septimus. Sept Kindly inform the constable that we have a bear loose in the building. Oh my god. <laughs> but, sir, these wounds clearly came from bullet entries. Septimus, kindly inform the constable that we have a bear with a gun loose in the building. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Two bullet holes? Septimus, kindly inform the constable that we have a herd of bears with guns loose in the building. Should we not consider, sir, that a single human inflicted these wounds? Right. Well then, could we not also consider that a married human inflicted these wounds, Septimus? <laughs> what I mean, sir, is that perhaps a human being is responsible for murdering this man. Septimus, kindly inform me of what type of bullet wounds these are. They are entry wounds, sir? Precisely! And that means what, Septimus? <laughs> well, it means that this man sustained bullet wounds from an outside source. Sustained bullet wounds? <laughs> <laughs> what type of fool do you take me for? No man would nurture, clothe, and feed his bullet wounds. <laughs> <laughs>